Tandem 310 from Crystal Vision, a combined embedder and de-embedder for 3G, HD and SD sources. The ability to embed and de-embed a mixture of up to four groups of AES and two groups of analog audio at the same time makes it a powerful and flexible platform for a multitude of embedded audio applications. The serial digital interface can have up to 16 channels of audio in four groups of four embedded into the video signal. Tandem 310 has an audio de-embedder in the signal path which extracts the audio component and an embedder that can reinsert audio back into the signal alongside the video. The heart of Tandem 310 is a powerful matrix. All 16 channels from the four de-embedded groups are connected as inputs to the matrix which can route them to the embedder to be reinserted into the same or different channel position. And of course, channels can be routed to more than one channel position. Tandem 310 has two positions for plug-in I.O. piggyback boards to provide the input and output of analog or digital audio signals via the rear module connections. Fitting these piggybacks enable extra matrix inputs and outputs, up to 16 additional inputs and 16 additional outputs. There are three different piggyback types. 3G AIP2, which has inputs for two analog stereo pairs. 3G AOP2, which has outputs for two analog stereo pairs. DOP4, which can be configured as input or outputs for four digital AES stereo pairs. Any of the piggyback types can be plugged into either position to provide a variety of analog and digital inputs and outputs. The I.O. piggybacks can be mixed to provide, for example, analog inputs and digital outputs, or digital inputs and analog outputs. Extra inputs can be routed directly to an output piggyback to convert, for example, AES signals to analog, or routed to the embedder. And de-embedded channels can be routed to the output piggybacks as well. The optional Dolby E decoder subboard takes a feed from the matrix. Any of the 16 D embedded channels or external AES inputs can be selected for decoding. The decoded Dolby stream is re-input to the matrix as discrete AES channels and a stereo down mix. These channels can be embedded or output to the rear module. Tandem 310 has many more powerful features such as programmable video and audio delays, 16 preset memories that can be recorded by GPI and two GP outputs that can be triggered by a number of video and audio conditions. All these features are explained in the Tandem 310 datasheet which can be downloaded from the website and some features will be explained in more detail as we now look at Crystal Vision's Statesman control program. Tandem 310 can be controlled by its front edge controls the frame front panel controls, but most easily by Crystal Vision Statesman PC control software. Here's a brief description of some of the many features of Tandem 310 that can be accessed by Statesman. Here we can see Tandem 310 as one of the boards to be controlled. The status tab shows that a valid SDI input is connected and is not black or frozen. There is a DOP4 AES piggyback fitted in the front slot nothing in the rear and a Dolby E decoder subboard fitted. That embedded audio is detected for one group at the SDI input and four groups at the output. The control tab allows the input connector to be switched between BNC and fiber optic. The SDI video path can be delayed in multiples of one frame up to ten. Audio embedding can be enabled or disabled for any of the four groups. Embedding can be either SEMPTI or SONY format. Vertical interval ancillary data blanking can be enabled or not. Each channel pair of the DOP4 AES piggyback can be configured to be input or output and the input termination to be either 110 ohm balanced or 75 ohm unbalanced. 
the audio input tab shows the presence of de-embedded audio at the input for all four channels of one group and that the audio is silent. Here the audio can be inverted or not. Stereo channel pairs can be monoed and resampling enabled to provide seamless transitions when delays are changed. If AES signals were present, they could also be monoed, inverted and resampling enabled or not. The Dolby E decoder subboard is providing an output for all 10 channels currently silent. These two can be inverted, monoed and resampling enabled or not. The audio delay tab allows us to add video frame delay to each stereo pair and or an additional variable delay of up to 400 milliseconds. The same can be applied to the AES inputs and decoded Dolby Stream components. In the Audio Gain tab, the gain of all de-embedded channels, external audio inputs and decoded Dolby channels can be set. Firstly, select the group and then set the individual channel's gain. The Embedder Router tab controls the part of the matrix that feeds the Embedder circuitry. Any of the de-embedded, external audio or decoded Dolby channels can be set as sources. The embedded channels can be individually muted. The router is firstly preset with the new selections and then the Take button applies those changes. Because the DOP4 AES IO piggyback is fitted, the tab AES Output Router is available. This router controls the part of the matrix that feeds the DOP4 channels that have been configured as outputs. Each channel can be individually muted. This router is preset and taken as before. When a Dolby Decoder subboard is fitted, the Dolby Decoder Router tab becomes available. This router controls the part of the matrix that can select any of the de-embedded or input AES channels as sources for the decoder. Control of the video gain can be achieved either in the RGB domain where the RGB ProCamp tab allows individual control of the lift and gain of the RGB channels of the video path. In the component domain, the YUV ProCamp tab allows control of the video paths overall Luma and Chroma lift and gain. Tandem 310 has two GP outputs that can be asserted by a variety of selectable conditions. Each GPO can be programmed independently. The video, de-embedded channels, external audio and decoded Dolby channels can all be used to trigger the GPO. Some of the programmable conditions are Video errors, the embedded groups missing, silent, or with Dolby E encoding present. Here we see GPO5 asserted when the missing de embedded group 2 missing box is checked. A useful feature here is the ability to set the period that a silence condition must prevail before asserting the alarm from 0 to 127 seconds. The final tab the Presets and Reset tab. Tandem 310 has 16 preset memories where all the board settings can be stored. Simply select the preset and click on Store to save the entire configuration or Recall to restore a previously saved configuration. Each preset can be recalled by external GPIs if the Enable box is checked. Here the GPI is set to trigger from either a specified logic level or by pulse. And here is where Tandem 310 can be reset to factory settings while leaving preset memories untouched or by clearing them. For more information please contact Crystal Vision.